right, so what's up, YouTube? Again, here we are. We've got uh, the Kenwood NX220 K3. Brand new. And I am going to show you the software. Here it is. Let me see if I can get this to behave a little better. This video is going to show you how to get started in conventional. You can run digital or analog in conventional. Uh, the digital mode is an XDN. So, as you can see right here, zone type. You can select it to a conventional group, LTR. Uh, that's analog, NXD and trunking. You cannot set it for NXD and trunking unless you have the system key. And I already told you about that. Site roaming, site roaming with RAN. So let's just do conventional for now. This is just to get you started in case you have one of these. Uh, this is zone one. And what we're going to do is we're going to enter a frequency. Let's just enter some ham frequencies. We'll just do some. This is a simplex 145.00. This is just for demonstration purposes only. And so you can click that and it'll put the same one or you can put a different one. We'll just leave it there. This is channel type. Now you can select NXDN, analog, or mixed. Let's put that one to analog. Analog. Now, here's your private line tones. You got your analog. There's your digital ones. Okay. And there's some other shit down here. Let's just say it's 82.5. Now you can put a different one for the encoding, different one for the decoding, in, in case there's two different ones. But for this purpose, we'll just put both of them the same. Then you can channel name that A. Good for demonstration purposes, right? Okay, so let's just set the same channel on 45. Click that, boom. And let's put this on NXDN, boom. Just like that. Now, this RAN code is the same thing as a private line tone. Except for it's NXDN. Let's put 3. Click that, it'll put the same thing. Let's put NXDN. Okay, you can go narrow or very narrow, and then this one you can go narrow or wide. Narrow works fine. Okay, so we have those two frequencies, so you realize how you can name them. You can also set another one right here. Let's let's just pretend this is a repeater, which it's not. It's not even the right frequency. Let's go 144. 70 200 and let's put an analog let's say that there is a 100 tone repeater we'll put this one ham Two. That's your zone name. This is where you select your zone. Let's go back up to zone. Oops. And then back down to zone one. Then we'll put this one as ham one. Now, if you're going to be running an XDN, here's what I suggest take the NXDN and turn it to analog. And I forgot to tell you this. Analog. If you if you don't here, I'll show you what'll happen if you don't. This one you refer to the software. So you have NXDN, blah blah blah. So let me hook my cord up and I will show you what happens. And you have to turn the radio on to program it. See right now it's asking for a password. Now I'm gonna hit this and watch it'll show error. Boom. Error. It says one or more errors have been detected in the following unit ID own. It took me a while to figure that out. Hit OK. Take all your NXDN channels. This it's wise to do this before you set up any channels. Set them back to analog and zone two is analog. What you want to do is hit the right button again and hit consecutive right. 
go down here and this is going to pretty much name your unit just put unit one and then click that again put on okay now we're connected and it's ready to write now let's talk about passwords Boom. go to edit and optional features and I think it's one optional features one yep now let's just go one two three four five six and you can only put six digits in there which is plenty enough now another thing you need to do so that you can enter the passwords you need to program your keys so you go up to edit key assignment keypad 12 key leave that alone unless you want it to do something else I'm just showing you the basic things now see you can select each one of these like I'm gonna click that one and I'm gonna click that one and see how it changes anyways I'm gonna leave that alone for now I'm gonna go to the front S I'm gonna set that for encryption let's go down there it is encryption for s and then see how it lights them up watch watch the left and right of my screen boom boom see it lights that key up b oh wait key a is going to be scan okay and that is all you have to do on that hit close okay now let's set up encryption go to edit encryption this is going to be your digital encryption you can enter anywhere from 1 to 32,676 so just enter any number between that let's go 18,784 no, 18, boom hit the next one key 1 boom A a is what's going to show up on your radio. Let's go 97.99. Wait, that said 87.99. Key 2. B. Okay, number 3. 44.56. 3. C. Get the point. Uh, 19,874. Oh, shit. There. 4. D. Okay, 3345. Dang it, did it again. 5E. Go down here, leave this alone. Click there to transceiver. Hit encryption. Make sure one is there. Close. Now, let's set up the analog voice inversion encryption. I'm going to try to finish this up as quick as I can. Get op uh, optional features, optional features too. Uh, go to scrambler there. This one is the Kenwood Standard Scrambler. You can enter anywhere from 2000 to 4096 hertz. So let's just enter that. Boom. 3345. Boom. 2000. Boom. 4156. Boom. Hit close. Boom. Okay. Now on the channels that you want the encryption, don't worry about the analog. Go to the digital one, which is on zone one. And this is supposed to be NXDN. <laughs> Anyways, uh, go to channel edit. Boom. Go to channel 2. You can select your channels. See? Go to page 2. And hit encryption. Make sure 1 is there. And then hit close. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to hit right. And there it is. And you'll hit. Make sure your radio is plugged in and turned on and hit right and it'll go through this little sequence it'll say program when it is programming it takes not very long like I said this is just a really quick demonstration about as quick as I can do okay it's done and then now you can unhook it, turn it on, enter your password, and go for it. That's the end of this video. Catch you in the next one.